MIV Aerospace unveils new designs for emission-free electric aircraft. MIV-01 promises to carry 44 passengers, fly around 460 km on a single charge, and could be running commercially by 2030 Dutch aviation firm MIV Aerospace has unveiled the latest designs for its planned emissions-free 44-seater electric aircraft, which it has hailed as the latest step towards making commercial zero emission. A leap in electric aviation, MIV Aerospace unveils design for aircraft that carries 54 passengers mobility. MIV Aerospace's mission is to enable 100% sustainable regional air travel and improve airline operating costs. Dutch company MIV Aerospace revealed their final design for the first fully electric passenger airplane. The 8-engine aircraft, MIV-01 aims to offer emission-free and low-noise flights covering distances of up to 460 kilometers. The fuselage has been expanded to accommodate 52 passengers instead of the initial 44. CEO Jan Willem Heenan sees massive potential in electric aviation. The MEV-01 aircraft boasts zero emissions and very low noise levels. The company has already received orders for 20 aircraft from customers like Air Napier, New Zealand and Dutch startup Lucy, planning to operate from Eindhoven Airport and Twente Airport, transforming regional air travel. MIV Aerospace's mission is to enable 100% sustainable regional air travel and improve airlines' flight operating costs. The company's founders, Juice Steven and Jan Willem Heenan, have ambitious plans to make commercial aviation more sustainable. With the development of the MIV-01 aircraft, they hope to deliver the world's first all-electric zero-emission aircraft by 2027. The key features of the MIV-01 include a 50-passenger capacity and in ultimate versions a 1,000 km flight range. To ensure competitive aircraft turnaround times, the startup is also designing ultra-high-speed recharge network stations. These charging stations will be crucial to support the electric aviation ecosystem. MIV Aerospace has already partnered with Rotterdam Airport for a proof of concept in 2024 and is in talks with a second airport, investment and market potential. The European Investment Fund European Innovation Council EEC, has granted MIV Aerospace 17.5 million euros with 2.5 million euros in direct funding and potential co-investments of 15 million euros. This is the maximum EEC amount for innovative companies, and MEV expects to secure a successful private investment round soon. Co-founder Jan Willem Heenan describes the EU investment as an important financial step forward, and a sign of highest possible confidence in MEV Aerospace's promise. Also interesting. For electric aviation, the entire ecosystem must be involved. Innovation Origins, Heenan sees massive potential in electric aviation, stating that at present, 200 million people per year take flights of distances of less than 400 kilometers. By 2030, when MEV-01 is expected to be in service, this number will likely increase. Countries with enforced sustainable aviation policies, such as Sweden, where all domestic flights must be fossil-free by 2030, are target customers for MEV, aerospace, challenges and future prospects. Despite the enthusiasm surrounding electric aviation, critics question the feasibility of battery-powered aviation and battery technology development. Enan admits that they do not expect to transport 180 passengers across the Atlantic using battery technology soon. However, he points out that electricity is cheaper, CO2 emissions cost money, and maintenance is more economical. He argues that their heavier battery-powered airplane is still cheaper to fly than one using kerosene. While the challenges and frustrations of developing electric aviation are acknowledged, Deben and Heenan remain determined to prove their vision. With a team of 30 people working on the project, they reference Tesla's success in electric cars and emphasize the urgency of action to protect the planet. With over 200 other companies working on electric aviation, such as Sweden's Hart Aerospace and American Wright Electric, the race towards sustainable air travel is heating up.